got some Freddy Krueger dolls. So this is bringing back nightmares. You okay, boss? So what can you tell me about these, sir? They've never been out of the box except to be signed. This one was out of the box. It's signed underneath the belly. And there's a pull string on the back. That's creepy. Nightmare on Elm Street has become a cult classic. I think every teenager in the world has seen this movie. I remember watching it when I was about six. That's probably what's wrong with you today. I never understood horror movies. If you want horror, have a couple of kids. I'd go 40 bucks for them, guy. That would be That's about for both top. of them? Yeah. They're signed. They've never been out of the box. They're running for 45, 50 bucks a piece online without a signature. I'd push it to 50. I ain't going no higher than that. All right, we got a deal. That'll work for me. I'm happy. Oh, my God. So what the hell is this thing? It's a shrunken head. All right. Where in the world did you get it? Basically, uh, someone brought it in and pawned it with me. Let me see here. Did you get any story with him or anything? I think he said it was a long-lost relative. <laughs> <laughs> Drunken heads came from the Amazon, you know, in South America. The procedure for doing it was they would slice him down the back of the head after they killed him. And then there was a way to remove the skull. I'm having a few little problems here. I don't think the Amazon warriors had cotton thread. And that's what the back of his head is stitched up with. If it was real, there would be some rotten places. I mean, don't you hope it is fake, sort of? Well, I hope it is real, because then it'll be worth more money. If it's real, some poor guy lost his head over it. I don't want it in the shop. <laughs> OK. I've been in this business for over 20 years, and I can honestly say this is my first shrunken head, just when you thought you'd seen everything. <laughs> What do you got here? I have a World War II baby gas mask. Hey, Rick, come here. What in the world do we have here? I have a baby gas mask. Must be a really stinky poo. This one was given out in England. My uncle was born just before D-Day, so they were worried that there was going to be some type of chemical attack. So they gave it to my grandmother for my uncle. The pamphlet here says that if you leave your house, you will be killed. This thing's extremely unique and sometimes that can mean extremely valuable. So I'm calling on my buddy Mark so he can tell us more about it and how it was used. It is British. It is World War II. It's dated 39. By 1939, they had already made over 9 million civilian gas masks in Britain. Because it's an infant, you'd have to pump air in there for the infant. I mean, it's just scary and creepy to me, you know what I mean? It's... There are certain artifacts that are just appalling just because they have to exist. Even though this thing has value, I just know when something is going to be difficult to sell. And if it's creeping me out, there's a good chance it's going to be creeping my customers out, too. Perfect dream. Bye. 